Thank you for becoming a Voice Carrier customer. This is a video overview of Voice Carrier's user portal. This portal is basically the web-based solution for getting into your extension and being able to provide and update some functionality within that, which we're going to review today. Uh, the first kind of being how you get into the user portal. We'll show you how to look at the call detail records of calls coming in and out of your extension. We'll show you how to listen to voicemails online, take those voicemails, either forward, delete, or download them to your local system, as well as set up Follow Me. Follow Me is functionality that allows you to program additional phone extensions, whether extensions on your system or even phone numbers that are outside of the voice carrier system, so that if somebody calls your a voicemail DID or extension and you're not there it will ring those phone numbers for a set amount of time and if you do not answer it then it will leave a voicemail on your voice carrier system and then send a voicemail to email. Uh, one note of caution here and I, I will show this in the user portal but if you do put a cell phone as one of the follow me numbers and you set the time to 21 seconds or more then leave a voicemail on your cell phone instead of not on the voice carrier system. So just one little note of caution here. And again I will show you how you can set up the voicemail to email within the user portal. So with that let me go ahead and get into our user portal itself. You will be provided the URL and the extension and password information from the order processing team once your PBX is set up, but uh, you will get your login and password. You enter those into the user portal and it will take you into the very first uh, tab here, which is the voicemail. As you can see from the voicemail, it will show which voicemails are logged in or on your, your, your system itself. You will see message light that will come on your phone, but you can also get into the voicemail system through the web base uh, portal as well. It will show you the date, time, who the caller ID is, as well as the originating mailbox and so forth. Uh, one of the neat things here is you can listen to the voicemail directly on your system. Hey, Jacob, it's Sybil. Uh, I think Jeff mentioned that I'd be calling and again, you can listen to those, you can play back them on your phone, as well as you can take these and download them locally to your hard drive. And I would suggest that you do download the voicemails periodically from your system to your hard drive, so you make sure that you have a copy of those and can access them at a later date as well. In order to do that, you know, you can select a multitude of voicemails and download and you can either delete them also or move them into other folders like an old folder here or you can select a another extension on the system hit the forward to and it will send it to that extension and their light will light up on their phone saying you have additional voicemails it's kind of funny because a lot of people will, will get that and they don't realize because their phone hasn't rang they've been forwarded a voicemail from another user here through their user portal the second tab is the call monitor. This is all the information about the date, time, caller ID, either it's an internal call and the source and destination. So if somebody's calling you from outside of the system to your destination or vice versa, this will track all the information and tell you how long that each one of those calls were made. If you see down here at the bottom, it's got about 15 uh, voice uh, call detail records within it and you can go all the way to the end of uh, when you've set up your system. So again, this is all of the information regarding the call details in your system. The third tab is the phone features. And a word of caution here, if you do select some of these features in the user portal, you will not see them reflected on your phone. So if I came in and said, do not disturb and hit update, all of a sudden there would be no more ringing on my phone. So somebody called my phone, it's going to roll directly into voicemail with this feature enabled. So if you do do this in the user portal and you forget about it and all of a sudden you come in a day and you're like, my phone is not ringing, we get support calls for this because people have enabled a do not disturb feature in their user portal and have forgotten about it. So please take note if after a day or so you're not getting calls and you know that you went into the user portal and enabled this, you need to come back in and unenable it, hit update to make sure that now your phone will, will go back to its normal operating procedure. The same thing with call forwarding unconditional. If you enable this and you put in a phone number, and I'm just making up a phone number here, 
for a cell phone and you enable it, you hit update. From now on, all of your phone's calls will go directly to that cell number and not bypass the system completely. So again, very useful if you want to travel or if you want something to go to a cell phone. But once this is enabled, it won't ring on your, your phone. And uh, you just need to make sure to come back and unenable the or uncheck the enable box and hit update so that now you're back to regular working order. The third one is the follow me feature that I mentioned before. To enable this, it will be checked usually. And it's going to call this number first. And I just need to talk about the default settings here. If you are going to use follow me, you want to put in additional extensions. So you want this call to ring to my main extension first. And then I want it to ring 101 second and another random cell phone number here um, as well. You would put these numbers in the follow me list and then you would want to select. Now, it's important that you change the default settings here because four seconds uh, is not going to be very long for uh, for this to, to ring and then to hit the rest of the follow me feature. The, the normal default that we like is 15 and 20 seconds, meaning that it will ring the extension 105 first for 15 seconds and then it will ring these other extensions for 20 seconds. Now again, if no one answers this, it will roll into your voice carrier voicemail and it will send a voicemail to email. But if you put in the follow me in here, 22, 23, past 21, as I mentioned in the, the slide previously, and you have a cell phone number in the follow me list, it most likely will leave a voicemail on your cell phone instead of your voice carrier system. So again, default numbers usually are 15 and 20 seconds. You hit update. Now those follow me features uh, has been enabled and the numbers will be called after the 15 original 15 seconds uh, has, has been placed on, on the, the desk phone. We do have a, a call feature guide that we, we ship with the main numbers. They're the main feature codes that are used. And then finally, I'll talk about the settings. It needs to be noted also in this setting that if you change your voicemail password here in the user portal, it will also be changed on your phone. So if you're accessing your phone with your uh, keypad, if you change the voicemail password here, that means it's going to change the password on your user portal as well as your phone. And the keypad you'll have to use will be this new voicemail password that you've, that you've entered here. To get your voicemail to email, you make sure that your email is already enabled in here and the checkbox is enabled so that you will get it as well as the voicemail to email. This is normally automatically put into the system when it's set up, but if it hasn't or it's the email has changed, you come into the user portal, this is where you can put in your email solution as well. There are some additional envelope information you can either check or uncheck as well and that's kind of the overview of the portal the one last thing that i need to mention is if if the follow me feature you click on it and it just says update that means that the follow me feature has not been enabled at in the back end so please call the support number that's listed on the voice carrier homepage. they'll be able to get into the back end and enable the follow me feature for you so with that you can log out and again, you can log back in with the information and that's the overview of our user portal. Again, thank you for becoming a Voice Carrier customer and we hope that this uh, video tutorial has been very helpful. Thank you.